Good morning, folks. Another good NASA visualization, this time showing sunspot numbers for this cycle and the end of last. As discussed, the sun had an ultra-low minimum, hasn't yet lived up to maximum, but after odd activity of the cycle, scientists are now predicting a double peak max. It's unclear to me why this is considered so unusual. The numbers don't look as smooth as the curves, do they? And indeed, when we look back, I believe one could suggest we've had a number of double peaks before. For the sake of our collapsing atmosphere, let's hope the sun's not done this max just yet. Dragon launched successfully, encountered a problem preventing secondary ignitions, but that has been fixed. Yes, this is the same city in both pictures, pollution and a sandstorm in Beijing. Well folks, the Kuril Islands at the southern tip of the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia has been the star of this earthquake watch. Now with three of the four significant earthquakes happening there, yesterday's were 27 minutes apart. Another four-pointer in the western U.S. makes an uptick of those. Northwest Caribbean had double four-pointers this morning, and the India-Bangladesh border took a 5.5. This is from yesterday when I explained that a coronal hole stream was impacting. In yellow, the ramping speed and the density spike beforehand of bunched up slower particles. Let's see what that looked like from the side shot with the sun off to the right, density spike leading out ahead of the faster stream, then the pressure wanes. So looking at the last 24 hours, we see density falling and hopefully the end peak of this stream in yellow. It has created a ton of magnetic instability, allowed significant plasma to penetrate the Earth's system, induced ground currents and frequencies from the ELF baseline and caused the first geomagnetic storm we've had in a while. Auroras were dancing. Sunspots had me excited 24 hours ago, but I think the only ones turning towards Earth appear to be in decay still needing the atmospheric expansion from flare radiation, so hopefully we'll get some moderate events from the large group. Soho Lasco C3, watching Venus approach from the right, but if you look top left, that object sneaking in quickly, it's Mercury, set to conjoin the Sun in just two days. Speaking of which, pulling up Stellarium, Moon will be by Saturn another 24 hours, but we're here to see what's by the Sun. I'll make sure we can fully see the planetary bodies. I'll also turn off the atmosphere to reveal those planets fully and zoom in. Folks, we got planets and comet pan stars up by the sun. It is quite cluttered right now and easy to mistake for something else. Umbral fields, the come and go piece is turning away from Earth. Even with its growth, it's more likely to be this central umbral column that blocks the northern coronal hole. That column sits between the red and green, both coronal holes, and we can guess that the southern hole will not be blocked by the umbral fields. So that is the second straight day of two significant quakes, a certain uptick from before the watch, but it's likely not over. Planets begin aligning again in two days and the coronal holes just keep coming. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.